All right, so this video is going to cover how to use the temperature check uh, survey by using Microsoft Forms, which is just another tool that you could use as an alternative to using Canvas. Um, just another way to kind of get to the same place in terms of collecting data. And there's um, definitely some advantages and disadvantages to using this tool compared to Canvas. Um, namely, if you don't use Canvas a whole lot or you don't set up your class on Canvas, um, then this might be the way you'd go about having uh, students do a temp check if you want to do it in a digital space. Um, so the link that I sent you in this email that is where you got the link to this video from is a duplicate link to this particular survey. And so when you click it, you're going to see this screen. It's going to say that you can duplicate this form. So you click duplicate it and let's see what happens. So now it takes you to in within Microsoft Forms and you have duplicated this. Before we get into editing this or customizing it or seeing the responses, um, what I want to do is just review that where you are is Microsoft Forms, which is one of the tools in the toolbox of Microsoft Office 365. And you find Office 365 most commonly through Hello ID would be the place that you'd most likely get to Office 365. If you're at home, you can always just search Office 365 and sign in with your work credentials like you would on your computer. So within this form, I can give this a name. And so this, I can say like temperature check week one, because we're going to assume that you're doing this over the course of many periods of time. So or you might even just say temperature check one if you're not planning on doing this weekly. So in terms of the questions, if you click the gray area on a question, you can modify the question, modify the responses. I toggled this one as required, just the numerical response. But then the why, if I click that, I did not toggle that as being required for someone to submit the survey. Required just means they would either have to or not have to do it in order for the survey to submit to me. And so now we want to share it. So we'll go up here and we'll use the share button. And what I have is I've had send and collect responses. I have it toggled as only people in my organization can respond. And what that means is that if I send this link and students get this link, they have to sign in before they can take this quiz. And then I can track who took the quiz via their name. So if I hit anyone with link and respond, the um, survey is then ostensibly uh, anonymous. Um, in terms of sharing, you have some different op options. You have a link. So you could, I, you know, you're not going to be able to write this link up on a whiteboard. Um, students are not going to be able to type this link in. You need to send it to them in a digital way. Um, so if you email them or something like that, that would work. Uh, if we look at our other options, you could QR code uh, where students could scan it with their phone. But in terms of ubiquitous access of phones, we're not 100% there yet. Um, you could embed it onto a site um, if you want to put it onto a website. Or then in terms of email, um, this email function is actually opening up for me an Outlook email where I can then send an email message to somebody. Um, typically the best way to do this is going through the create link and then just copying and pasting that um, into a email to a lot of different people or copying and pasting it maybe I guess onto a Canvas course but at that point I'd probably be just using the Canvas quizzes instead. Um, after someone has actually taken it I'll show you what it looks like. So after somebody's actually taken the quiz, you'll see responses. And under responses, you'll see, um, there you go. There's the response right there. You get one response, time to complete, status, view results. And you can see the responder. You can see their name. You can drop down and choose between other people. And you can go through it. So I think as a tool, this isn't maybe as ideal as using Canvas on your dashboard and speed grader to make sure you capture everybody. But it is another way to send out um, this quiz. If you want to duplicate it to be used later, what you would do is go back into just generic into forms, just into that tool itself. And then you can click the three dots over here and click copy. And it'll just make a copy of it. And then you can click in and rename as needed. And then share that link to get responses to this new form. All right, let me know if you have any questions.